Tokyo series, we are going to look at into Mongoose. So Mongoose is basically a MongoDB object modeling tool designed to work in an asynchronous environment. Everything in Mongoose I start with a schema, each a schema mapped to a MongoDB collection and define the shape of the document within that collection. Mongoose make it endlessly easy to work with a MongoDB database. We can easily structure our database using a schema and model, automate certain things when the record is added and updated using middleware and hooks, and easily get data we need by creating our model. So let's get started. So here, just first create a folder with any name and uh, type npm in it hyphen y. It will uh, initialize package.json in your folder. So I have already uh, I have already created one folder and uh, uh, initialized my package.json. So now next step is to install Mongoose. And supposing that you have uh, already installed MongoDB on your system, so to install Mongoose, just type npm install. Mongoose As you can see, I have already installed Mongoose here. So it will install Mongoose into your uh, package.json. So now, so here, you, as you can see, here it creates uh, it uh, initializes a file name in index.js. So just touch index.js. That you will create index.js folder into my root folder. So now let's uh, type uh, everything in this index.js. So first require Mongoose. Then connect it with uh, our local database. So mongoose.connect part URI mongodb column slash slash localhost column 420017 by default mongodb uh, runs on the port 27017 slash this is basically my database name and some options. So here I'm going to pass two options. This is use new URL parser to true and second use unified topology to true. Now let's check our connection. Dot dot, um, error console dot error dot bind So, if database is not connected uh, with uh, this mo uh, lo uh, local 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 host database, then it will throw an error, connection error. And if it is connected, then it will uh, console was connected. So now run in the stop state. So here you can see it is connected to our database without any error. So now let's write schema. So in this 
uh, tutorial, I'm going to write a student schema. Very simple student schema. This contains only one field, a student name. So let's write it. And a student a new a student is new and it's type string. So here I have written uh, numbers dot a schema and uh, a, a field name with uh, and uh, it's type. So now let's write model of the student schema. So, uh, to write a model, you have to just write uh, mongoose.model and uh, model name and uh, a schema name. Now create a one document. New model name and whatever you want to call uh, as a name. Here I'm copying my name. Now let's console log the student. Let's see what output we are getting. So you can see here we are getting ID and name. So we have only passed name and we are getting ID as well. So MongoDB data value part I give the ID to each document. So we can sense this ID as well, but we will see it in the next week. So if you want to add some another method to the schema, then you have to write before the model. Suppose if you want to write a method which returns a student name, then you have to write before model compiled. So suppose here I'm writing uh, a student first name uh, to get a student first name. So I have to write a schema dot a student a schema dot methods dot first name. This is basically a method name equal to function return this just name. If it has name, then return student name is this dot name else a student name does not exist. Call um, first name. Console of first name. A student dot first name. Let's see what output we are getting. So here, as you can see, a student name is Aj. So we are getting a student name is Aj. Now remove name and. Let's see what output we are getting. So here, actually, I have not passed any parameter to the uh, our model. So we are getting a student name does not exist because here name is empty. Name is empty of string. So that's why we are getting a student does not exist. So this is basically a uh, connection part and uh, writing document. So to uh, save our document to database, we first have to write. So let's give up this to name. Okay. 
so to save our document into database you first have to write a student dot save and it accepts a callback function and click on enter so if it has error then throw that error as console log document saved so now let's run this so here you can see student name is assigned which is basically this line and document saved which is basically this line so now open up your mongodb and go db mongodb change to database test Thanks for watching.